Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Buddy the Borrador, the show where we bring you videos on dog treats, toys and training tips. Today's video is a special Halloween episode on carving out a doggy pumpkin. <laughs> So before I begin, I actually just wanted to quickly showcase some of these cool little doggy Halloween outfits that I grabbed from B&M Bargains. I think they were only like $1.99 each, but I got the witch's collar and a hat to get the hat as well. So make sure you stick around for the episode coming on later this week, and it's going to be showcasing Buddy in these outfits. So here he is, the man himself. As you can see, he's looking a bit sheepish, and that is because he does not like me using the tripod. Do you, mate? So without further ado, let's begin today's pumpkin carving episode. So first things first, you're going to want to pick your design. So keeping in with the doggy theme, I'm just gonna go for the paw print version because I am a total pumpkin noob and I've never done anything like this before. So you're gonna to wanna to grab some sort of Sharpie pen or a biro or something like that just so you can sketch your design onto the pumpkin so you can begin carving it out. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna to try to attempt to do this while I'm on the camera, but it's probably gonna fail massively. But um, just while I'm doing this, some updates coming out for the channel soon. You might have seen we have a new logo, which I have on the channel art and everything now, which is coming along very nicely. And that's hopefully gonna be on some merchandise and items like that coming up soon. So if you're interested in any Borrador stuff or even just some sort of general doggy merchandise, then you might want to pick up something like that in the future. I'm gonna try and get them on Cafe Press first. Um, again, I do apologize if I'm blown into the microphone here, but it's very awkward. Um, so I'm gonna try and get them on Cafe Press first. I've also applied for Amazon merch, so hopefully I'll be able to get some Borrador designs on there as well. And fingers crossed, we should have some merchandise coming out soon. It's actually looking okay. Okay, so there it is, it's all finished. I've cut it in all the sections now of the paw print. The next part that you need to do is carve out the top and also the inside, so you need to do your lid next, but I'm actually thinking that's looking pretty decent. Just so I can quickly show you before I start carving though, Buddy did not want to join this episode because he's taking a nap on the floor. Lazy. Bordo. Okay, so the next part after you've got your design and you've sketched everything on, you're gonna to want to hollow out the top and you need to cut a lid into this. So do check that the pumpkin is in good condition as well before you buy it. And I got my granite to buy this one and as you can see, I think it might have been dropped on the back as well. So um, check for bruising and things like that. And also, if you jiggle the pumpkin around and you can hear bits moving inside, that generally means that the pumpkin is getting on a bit and it can be quite old and also damaged inside. Okay, so we're gonna cut the lid on the top. Do watch your hands as well. I'm using a cut knife or scalpel, whatever this is, and these are pretty sharp. So again, watch your fingers and things if you're gonna be using a more sharper knife. I think you probably can use uh, one of the blunter knives, which I don't have on us now, but... Um, just, like I said, be careful if you're cutting things and you've got a sharp knife. Oh, all the juices are coming out of it. Right. You just have to cut straight across. You must have... Oh my God, I'm totally new to this. going wrong. Okay. It's coming off, it's coming off. As you can see, all the juices are coming up as well. Yes, coming off. Yes. Oh, that absolutely stinks. But uh, I'd say that's a, that's a decent lid off. I can probably get a fair bit out there. But as you can see, all the seeds are gonna come out as well. And these can actually be used for cooking and soups as well, I think, like that as well. So if you're into that kind of thing, don't throw all these away. Keep them in a spare little bowl or something like that as well. And you can reuse them later. Okay, so after that, if you're using something like this, make sure you put the blade back in. Give it a wash as well later if you need to, if it's feeling a bit sticky. But here, as you can see again, the seeds are coming off here. If you just pop them into a bowl or something like that and we could maybe use them for later. 
But next, it's time to start carving it out. I'm not, I'm not lying, I have no idea how to do this, so I'm just good. Oh, that feels awful. Um, it's actually quite hollow inside, but from what I was seeing on some of the other videos, you had to leave um, a little bit inside so you could cut out whatever shape you wanted to. Um, so I'm just going to take all these seeds out and pop them in a bowl here and then we shall cut out our shape. Again, if you're struggling to get some of the bits out of the bottom, you could also use some sort of ladle or one of these spoons if you need to get the bits out of the bottom of the pumpkin. Coming up like ice cream there. <laughs> okay, so now that you've got all of the inside of the pumpkin carved out, as you can see in this shot here, next it's time to carve out your design on the front of the pumpkin. Okay, so for cutting out the design, you're gonna need a fairly sharp knife, something like a cutting knife like the one I've got here in the shot. Be careful again when you're using this because it can't harm you. I've seen quite a few other people using screwdrivers and things like that because it gets quite a lot of the pattern out in one go, but I guess it's just whatever works for you that's the best. 